Hello, thanks for coming by The Vital Blend. My name is Anthony Vita. I want to talk to you today about doctors. Yeah, these are the guys you go to when you have a problem that you can't fix yourself. You know, you go see the doctor and they uh, take your temperature, take your blood pressure, they stick something in here, something up there, and you go home with a prescription for some pills. And uh, you know what? One of the things we have to realize is that a lot of the reasons why we go to the doctor and I'm not talking about a severe case of something like, you know, you break your leg or you got a deep cut or something like that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about health related issues. A lot of these issues are caused by a poor diet, you know, because your body is always trying to heal itself and detoxify. And it, it only knows, you know, how to be 100 percent healthy. It's only when we compromise it by the foods that we eat and the way that we take care of ourselves that our, our body doesn't perform up to the way it should be. So. You know, but the problem is that your doctor doesn't know about the foods that heal you. He hasn't been educated about that. You would think that your doctor goes to school and he's taught about, oh, yeah, you know, you eat a lot of celery and you eat a lot of spinach and you eat a lot of these types of vegetables and these types of foods and this, these are the foods that heal you. No, no, doctor doesn't get much of that. They get maybe four or five hours of that kind of training uh, when they go to school. Most of their education, I'm talking about hundreds of hours, maybe even more, is pharmaceutical. It's funded by the pharmaceutical companies. They don't want doctors to know about the healing foods and the natural ways to heal you. They want the uh, doctors to know about pills. You know, when the doctor sees that your cholesterol level is elevated or your blood pressure is too high or this is too big and that's too large or whatever, they give you pills. They think, okay, well, I was educated about a certain pill or a prescription that's going to help this. Uh, and it really, that's what it does is it kind of helps you live with these problems. It doesn't cure you. And the pharmaceutical companies don't want to kill you. I mean, they may by accident, but they don't want to kill you. They want to keep you alive and they want to keep you dependent on their drugs and their prescriptions and everything. They, they want to make sure that your problem isn't solved, but that you can live with your problem. And see, uh, this is where you really need to understand, you know, the limitations of your doctor's knowledge. Now, maybe you have a doctor that understands about diet. If you do, great. Keep them. Lock them in. You know, make sure that you keep your doctor. And I'm not even telling you to, to get rid of your doctor. You know, I'll get to that a little bit later on as to how you can work with him. But I want to just give you a scenario. Let's say you go to your doctor and he tells you that your cholesterol is high. What's he going to do? Well, your cholesterol, first of all, know a little bit about cholesterol. You know, our body makes it. It's a natural process. Um, and we make enough for ourselves. The reason why our, our cholesterol would be too high is if we're consuming it through our food. And where do we get cholesterol? Cholesterol is something that we only get from animal products like, you know, meat, chicken, fish, milk, butter, cheese, these types of animal products. And so uh, if we're over consuming those products and our body can't handle it, then our, our cholesterol level goes up. And so what does your doctor tell you? Well, I'm going to put you on cholesterol medication. We've got to get that number down. Doctor, is he ever going to tell you, you know, why don't you take the animal products out of your diet and your cholesterol level will drop naturally, you know, start eating more plant-based foods, make that the predominant part of your diet and, and your cholesterol level will go down. Does, does he ever tell you that? No, doctors aren't going to tell you that. Some may even know this information, but they don't think that you're going to do it. I've seen many situations where doctors are just say, you know, I can't tell my, my customers to, you know, not eat meat or dairy. They're not going to do that. You know, they don't even give you the benefit of the doubt. So this is where you have to know. You have to understand how your body works so that your doctor tells you, look, your cholesterol is too high. I say, all right, well, look, I, if, I, if my cholesterol is too high, I'm just going to eat plant-based foods and my levels will drop and they will drop. You will get off your meds if you even have to get on them. Um, but this is where you kind of have to educate your doctor. You know, you have to let your doctor know, listen, doctor, I'm going to take care of this myself. I'm going to change my diet. I'm going to get rid of the animal foods and I'm going to eat plant-based foods. I want you to, I'm going to come back in a week or two. And I want you to check my levels again, you know, work with your doctor. I don't want you to get the impression that I'm telling you that your doctor is someone that you have to, um, disrespect or, you know, drop, uh, you need to work with them, educate your doctor, let him know that you're changing your diet, you're cleaning your diet up and let him know why, you know, share the information with him. You know, make sure that you, if you're taking meds and you're changing your diet, make sure that he's there to cheap, to check your numbers out because you don't want to be taking a certain level of prescription meds while you're changing your diet. While your diet is improving your situation, you don't want to be taking the same uh, amount of meds. So this is something that you need to have him check on and work with him. 
uh, and hopefully your doctor will be very open to that. I, I would imagine that your doctor genuinely wants to see you cure whatever it is that you have. But the problem is that the pharmaceutical companies, um, they don't see it quite that way. You know, they don't want to kill you. I mean, the pharmaceutical companies are not out to get you. Uh, they need you, but they need you dependent. They don't want to cure your disease. They want you to be able to live with it. You know, uh, giving somebody a pill for cholesterol is like giving them a free pass. It's like saying, here, keep eating all the cholesterol you want. I'm going to give you a pill. It's going to get you lower. It's going to get your numbers down to a certain thing so that you can live with it. But at the same time, it's putting you at risk. You're still at a risk for heart disease. You're still at risk for getting a heart attack. And plus, you know, giving somebody a pill for cholesterol, that doesn't just lower your cholesterol. You know, you can never do just one thing to your to your body. You're you're always there's always side effects. You know, just go turn on the television and look at the side effects on the prescription ads that come on television, and you'll see. You know, they spend the first half telling you about the great things, and the second half telling you about how you might hang yourself, and you know, you're gonna have maybe rectal bleeding and all this great stuff. So, you can't just ever do one thing to your body. You know, there's always gonna be peripheral things that happen. So, what's the best way to cure your health issues? Eat properly. Eat a good, clean diet. Eat mostly plant-based whole foods, and you will see your health improve. Thanks again for coming by The Vital Blend. I want to hear from you. What are your questions, comments, experiences with doctors? Have you cured yourself of anything? Put them down below, and, uh, and I'll see you again soon.